this is Jackie here and I am back with another video and I am so excited to bring you this video because I got the palette that I used on my eyes for the low low and when I tell you guys it's some good stuff if you want to know how I got this look keep on watching I was in Walmart and I purchased the Profusion Wonderlust palette well, this palette really caught my eye because of the colors in it. And I do have a Profusion palette already. And the colors are like super pigmented. But do you see these colors? Like, oh my goodness. Do you see this? Do you see that? Do you see this purple? Look at that. Do you see how pigmented that is? For $10. So, I couldn't resist it. I had to pick it up. And, um... I really didn't know what I wanted to create with it. I just knew I wanted to do something. Um, and I always gravitate toward purples and pinks. So I did do this look and we're gonna get into this look now. My base I'm gonna be using P. Louise Rumor 2 Base. And I am gonna use a decent amount this time because I want all my colors to show. And I'm just putting this base on with uh, Sedona EB11 brush. It's like a flat concealer brush. And I'm going to bring this base all the way up to my brow bone because I do want to place some color there and I want to make sure that it shows. Okay, so now that that is nice and smooth, I'm going to make sure. I don't open my eye all the way because I do not want it to crease. So we're going to keep it like that. Now I'm going to be using my, um, what is this, my MAC 3, 338 brush, I believe. And I'm going to go into the first shade. It's called Regal. And it's this pretty, pretty purple right here. And I'm going to place that into my crease. And I'm just going to pat the color in. And then we'll blend out later. And I'm going to go in a round shape. I'm just going to pack this in and build it up. Okay, so now that we've got that down, we're going to go into this pretty purple. Right? It's like a fuchsia. It's called Gold Girl. And I'm going to be using, let's see, what am I going to use? I'm going to use the um, the dual brush that came in the first Profusion palette. I'm going to use that uh, eyeshadow side. I'm just going to pick up that color and I'm just going to place it slightly on, on but just above that purple. Do you guys see this? Like, it is so pigmented. Like, you don't have to do a lot at all. And look, minimal. there's no fallout. No fallout. I blend that out with my Japanese 725 brush. You see how easy it blends out? Ugh. I'm gonna buy like 10 of these palettes. Do you see that? Like, you don't really have to do anything. I'm just going to pick up a little bit more of that color. I'm going to go into um, a Juvia's Place, Juvia's Place Dupa Palette. And I'm going to pick up that yellow right here. I'm going to place that just above. And I'm going to use a flat brush. This is the Sedona Lace 954 brush. And I'm just going to pat that slightly onto that pink and upward into the brow bone. Now I'm going to be using my Morphe 514 brush to blend that yellow out. The 
So now we're just going to go back into those shades, that uh, Gold Girl shade, which is that fuchsia color. And we're just going to start blending everything, making sure that everything is seamless. I'm going to go back into Regal, which is that purple. And the brush that I'm using now is my Morphe 518 brush to blend it out. Okay, so now I'm just going to take that same brush and I'm just going to kind of blend it into the inner corner of my eye. I haven't put any more product on the brush. I'm just going to blend in what's left. And then I'm going to go upward because I don't want to drag it into the corner too much. So I'm just going to start blending it upward. So I am going to moisturize. I'm going to moisturize with my, um, this is actually the off-brand to the Neutrogena Oil Free Moisturizer. Um, I got this from Dollar General, but it works just as good. They were out of the Neutrogena that I usually buy, but like I said, works better. I mean, it doesn't work better. works just as good, but the price is better. I'm going to go ahead and prime my face with my Black Radiance uh, Refining Skin Primer. And then we're going to get into foundation. So I'm using my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Tahoe. And I'm going to apply this on a little palette. I'm not going to put it on my face right away. I'm just going to apply two squirts on a palette. Three squirts. And I'm going to use my foundation brush. Now I'm just going to my Real Techniques Instapop foundation brush. And we're just going to do like we always do. Alright, so I'm going to highlight with my Maybelline Master Conceal and my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Pure Beige. The Maybelline Master Conceal is in the shade Medium. Now we're just going to go ahead and blend all this out. All right, so we're just going to set with a little bit of the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I'm going to bronze with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark Deepest. And I really, really like this. It gives me like the perfect bronze that I want. And... Usually in the spring, summer months, I don't do cream contour. I just feel there's just too much makeup on. So, powder is what I do. And this brush that I'm using is the Japanese 961 brush. I'm going to be using this blush, it's the Milani Baby More blush, and it's so pretty. We're going to run the same colors along the lash line that we did for the upper part of our eye, the upper part of my eye.
Alright, now we're going to go into the shade Go Girl, which was that pink shade. And I'm going to be using my uh, Morphe what is this? 506 brush. And then we're going to go into that yellow out of the Juvia's Place Zubu palette. Let's see, we're going to use pencil brush. Just gonna place a little bit more of the um that purple shade, that iridescent purple. I'm gonna place that a little bit into the inner corner. Okay, so I'm gonna set my face with my um, setting spray. And then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna use this highlighter. This is my makeup addiction orgasmic highlighter. Get stuff everywhere and it is a loose highlighter so you got to use this like very carefully so I only use what's in the cap but this is actually what it looks like I'm scared to tilt it because I don't want it to fall do you see so let's go ahead and set And we're going to go, we're going to use the Japanese 713 brush. We're just going to dab it a little bit in there. And we're just going to place it. All right, so I'm going to line my lips with my Ruby Kisses Precision Lip Liner, Perfect Precision Lip Liner in the shade Burgundy Wine. So we're going to use the Milani Matte Innocence. So, you guys know I really don't like matte lipsticks. I think I'm going to put a gloss on this. What do you think? I think I need a gloss. So, I'm going to use the um, going to use the Revlon. What is this? The Revlon Ultra HD Lip Lacquer and the shade Pink Diamond. And we're just going to spray one more time just for old time's sake. So pretty. So I'm going to go do this hair of mine and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so this concludes my look. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video. Until then, bye guys.